Figure skating is not such a high-profile sport. When you think of the greats of Jordan Spieth, Floyd Mayweather, Messi, Ronaldo. But figure skating is for sure gaining its popularity over the years. Because of some Russian skating dramas and some super funny and cute skaters random TikTok videos like Motherfucker. Yo, yo, yo! Ah! Every time you die. Well, you know who we are talking about. A lot of people came into the figure skating fandom without knowing much about the sport. But, trust us, you are not alone in this. In fact, some of the well-known politicians in history are figure skating fans because of certain skaters as well. Among them, the most notorious one, Adolf Hitler. It was reported that Hitler and other high-ranking Nazi officials would travel to the various shows just to watch Sonia Henny perform those days. Sonia is idolized by the public. Garmisch, Partenkirchen, Germany. The 1936 Winter Olympic Games. Sonia Henney will try to do what has never been done by a woman, to win three successive gold medals. Sonia Henney, the true queen of the ice. And when Sonia successfully defended her Olympic title in the 1936 Games, Hitler was at the rink side to personally congratulate her and invited her family to lunch, and this sparked a lot of controversy later on. I think in Sonia's eyes, Hitler was just like another very important person that the world knew and who admired her. The many who paid their respects to Hitler at the Olympics did not know what the future would bring. With the hindsight of history, it would seem easy to criticize Sonia for her lack of perception. It must be remembered, however, that two years later, a British prime minister said after meeting with Hitler, there would be peace in our time. Back to the story. The very reason figure skating was included in the Olympic Games was also because of an enthusiastic fan. One of the founders of the International Olympic Committee, Pierre de Coubertin, he was a passionate ice skating fan. He recommended adding figure skating to the schedule at the very first Olympic Congress in 1894, two years before the first modern Olympic Games were held in 1896, Athens. He was unsuccessful that year. But through his strong advocacy, figure skating was included in the 1908 Olympic Games in London, 16 years before Olympic Winter Games were created. And making figure skating one of the very few sports to be competed in both summer and winter games. So here comes a question. The Olympics took place in summer. How did they find the ice to do figure skating? Well, that was the easy part. Now we got to make the ice. But the synthetic ice rinks using the refrigerant technology weren't even invented in the early 1900s. So how did they include figure skating in the Summer Olympic Games? The answer. They held the games separately. While other events were competed in August, figure skating were instead contested in April, a few months earlier. Due to the different seasons and calendars, as well as the increasing popularity of winter sports, the Olympic Winter Games were created in 1924, in Chamonix, France. Gillis Grostrom, the Olympic champion in the 1920 Summer Olympics, won it again in the 1924 Winter Games. He became the one and only Olympic figure skating champion of both Summer and Winter Games. A history could not be replicated. Grostrom is also the only three-time Olympic men's figure skating champion in history, when he won it again in the 1928 Games. Sweden's Grafström, three times during the 20s, he won the Olympic gold medal. A record that had been held for almost a century. In the upcoming 2022 Beijing Winter Olympic Games, one man will have a chance to challenge this record, and that is Yuzuru Hanyu. Japan! Yuzuru Hanyu! While figure skating will no longer appear in the Summer Olympics this month, let's stay tuned for the new season of figure skating. Coming right up.